absolute chaos in this house right now. Zay's going through stuff in her bedroom to give away. Babes is over here tearing it up. There's like nothing left in this in this bathroom. It's starting to look like a renovation space, but it's gonna be, feel really good. Originally, we were thinking about taking this bathtub and just turning it around so that the shower head was gonna be here. But instead, we've decided to take this bathtub and put it here where the sink is so that we can open up this whole window space. So when you come in, you don't have like a blockage with a bathtub. And we're gonna put the vanity right here. The door has been removed, but it does open in. It's just not as, it doesn't open that far, obviously. But as far as design goes, the bathtub is gonna be black on the underneath base. And then we're gonna spray the feet gold. We're gonna paint the wall that fall green color. Oh my God, it's called Peacock House, which is cool. I've been ordering stuff, which is really exciting. I've been just piling everything here for um, the bathroom supplies. I ordered a light fixture. The finish is gonna be kind of like a antique brass finish to kind of like create an elevated bathroom vibe, especially since this is the only bathroom. It's like vision for what would be the master, but it still needs to be like generic and usable for all the rooms up here. So I figured this is a good kind of meet in the middle. Before, and then I'll have to show you an altar. I don't really ever wear this. Oh, I know, I got it for you before you were even born. I <laughs> we can give it away. Put your stuff here in the giveaway pile and if there's things that we want to keep for like good present ideas. Oh, that's your locket. Put it in your jewelry box, keep it safe. Unless you don't want it. Okay. <laughs> All right, oh my God. All right, I'm gonna let Pop be loud. Sorry. Odin just had a bath, so he's downstairs in the mudroom. I try and keep him in the mudroom after a bath so he can dry off and not make the whole house smelly and wet. Um, and then also if I let him outside, he just rolls around in the dirt. So he kind of gets quarantined for like an hour, but I gave him food and yummy things. We'll have to put a picture and put it in there. Look, this is my thing from ski school that you didn't go to. You would have got one of these. I guess you kind of already have one. This is what she would have received as she had completed ski school, which yeah. was the situation. Mm, look at that cheeky smile. All right, let's go organize your room. All right, we're gonna go through also your dress up box, I think would be a good one to go through. Do you wanna keep this? Um, give it to Mackenzie's baby. Super cute. Aw, I love it. Good job choosing your outfits, eh? Grab something for uh, this yours. Grab your toiletries and take that down. All right, lunch is done, so with Delish. Um, go mode job for everyone is we're clearing out the basement we've got to get things out um, and start clearing things out so that we can clean and be moving into a new home here in the summer more on that in another video it's on my donkey couch i'm gonna bring this a little bit yeah. actually probably go ahead and turn it off I'm 
Yeah. I'm gonna bring this a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, actually, probably go ahead and turn it off if you want. Well, I'm gonna start at the top, right? Oh, I'm gonna screw these stairs in too. What is that? It's at the front door. Oh, wait. Oh. I guess we need to get another trash bag. Welcome to the chaos of the underground dungeon that is this house. It's disgusting down here. You've seen us do some work in the past and we made some good progress, but we really want to be clearing out old pipes that have been cut out for replacement of plumbing. We want to get rid of old empty paint cans and any old concrete that just like solidified because it leaked and got wet under here. Um, there's so much random just junk that we need to go through and kind of purge. So let's get to work. Can you check what that is? Oh, sure. What is that? This is pneumatic fastening tool lubricant. What does that mean? It's a lube. Like probably oil, but you can actually throw that away. There's can some other check? small things you can... Where to even begin? Welcome to the newly renovated mud room. So exciting. We painted it. Well, we didn't. We had a team come in. There's still some things that need to be touched up and um, refined a little bit. Uh, it was a kind of like a quick and dirty job to get it clean and redone. And also we had the washers unhooked for a hot minute. And so it just felt really good to get them out, clear, paint, clean. We hadn't cleaned in a minute. We did a little bit of cement work on the floor because there were some big cracks um, on like one corner, but it feels really fresh in here. We haven't installed any shelving or storage for right now, but one day maybe that will be a, a thing. Installing the new swanky light bulb. Oh, hey. <laughs> hey. Hey. Oh my god, this room is like completely different. It's good. It's more like industrial. There's two vibes one is mid century modern and then also industrial. I feel like this was more the vibe for the laundry room. <laughs> Today has been full on. Zay Zay is having a little screen time watching Vampirina. I am cleaning the kitchen and doing the dishes because if you know us, then you know that we're going to be making a special recipe this weekend. So let's get to cooking. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to go to the 
I made a vow to myself that I would prioritize taking Justin out on a date every month because it's something that we have not been good at finding kind of balance with as parents and entrepreneurs and all the things. And so um, every month I have a friend help us out and uh, look out for Say and do something fun with her while me and babes get to do something romantic together. So we're preparing for the day. Azalea is going to be going to Marvel's Kids Museum and Justin and I are going to be going to do something fun together, like an e-bike ride or a hike or something. And it's Christmas! <laughs> what are you doing in your Christmas lady outfit? I don't know. <laughs> You're silly. Did you get your cereal out? Where did yeah, it go? It's oh, it's on the table. Okay. Hold on. Do you need milk? Yes. And the ball they got out for you. Okay. Plan for today is that I'm taking Azalea to Amory's house and they're going to the kids museum and then I'm taking Odin for a walk and then Justin and I are going for an e-bike ride and exploring downtown Raleigh. Justin used to live there and went to NC State, so we're both very familiar with it, but we're considering moving into Raleigh as opposed to Durham and like the Chapel Hill area, which we have also already lived in. We might go to the museum, which I'm actually really excited about. I haven't been to a museum in a minute, um, and it's nice to be inspired, so. Cool, Zay Zay's rocking. Cheetah. You gotta look into the lens if you wanna be on the camera, so. <laughs> I said I had to look there. No, that's the screen, just so you can see if you're on the film. But oh. if you want to be looking here, you've got to look in, in this. Hello. <laughs> Are you excited for today? Yes, but cool. I kind of want to stay with you. You always want to stay with me. Because it's I good to practice taking space and <coughs> doing boring. things. Boring. I love you too, though. You know that, right? It's boring. Me. <laughs> All right, let's pack this thing up and uh, head out. We got yeah, a lot of things I to pack up. Like Look at this giant you. pile. All right, the gang is ready to go. Zay, how you feel? Good. Hey, I'm Odie. Just, there I'm he just, is. I'm just playing with um, slime. Ew, slime. Okay. <laughs> well, it's about a one-hour drive. We will catch you at well, it's the about lake where it ends up Twenty-eight like million hours of uh, slime. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh, yeah, I'm just going to take you guys with me for a bit of um, an epic nature session. Nature session. Nature session. <laughs> um, so, nature. see you guys in nature. Back with Babe, and I'm rocking the e bike. Are you ready for our date? <laughs> Good morning. Today's Monday. Normally Azalea would have school, but she's on winter break. We need to move this thing. Yesterday was awesome. Zeze had a blast at the Marbles Museum and got a couple of things from the gift store, so we're gonna work on those this morning. Because this is growing potion to make trees. Hey. Well, not real trees. Like gemstone trees. Yeah, like fake trees. I'm really excited. We've got this wait, here wait, wait. What in the middle of the room, and it's just messy everywhere in the house. So I put Mama. black mamba on to clean, and Zay has something more to say. Um, this is to make the crystals grow. Oh, yeah. It's growing potion. 
we'll take you um, through the process so that you can follow along. But I'm going to try and move this because this cardboard is like in the way. It's like attacking her on her chair. Um, Fernando is coming today to start work on the upstairs bathroom. So we've been really go mode trying to buy all the materials, get everything that we need um, and just have the space ready for him. So I had ordered a vanity off of Wayfair or what I thought was a vanity. And when it arrived, it was just the vanity top. So their description was a little not quite accurate. We went and bought this one from the Home Depot and I think it should fit just fine. Let's get to making some crystal trees. <laughs> Gathering materials. The washable mulkers, the two bases, the bottle of growing, crystal growing liquid, scissors. I have to grab those. One evergreen tree and one cherry tree. Yes, it's gonna grow, it's gonna grow. On the menu, French toast. Do you want it with this bread? Yup. How many slices? 28 million. So whenever we have home days, we like to do some kind of homeschool things and just kind of have activities that are engaging but also educational and um, encourage more knowledge. So a while back when we were thinking about jumping back on the road and traveling full time and navigating the concept of homeschooling, we bought this, the good and the beautiful math. And it's actually been loads of fun. Zay, do you like it? Mm -hmm. We've just been playing Polly Pocket this morning, having some breakfast together. But while we work on this, we've got stickers for each page and um, we've got like activities that are helping to like learn new math problems and things like that. So it's been helping her navigate through numbers, addition, subtraction. Mama. We got the kindergarten one, even though she's in pre-K, we just thought it would be good because she's pretty hey, advanced, wait, I feel like. So I know what, what um, six plus, plus six is. What? Zero. No, that's six. No! Pop told me in the B van that six plus six was, um, um, Zero. 106 minus 6 would be zero. Oh. Right? Because if you add two sixes together, yeah. you're going to get more so numbers. Pop said 6 minus 6 is zero. Because if you have 6 and, and then, then you get rid of 6. A six, million plus a million is. I mean, a million plus minus a million is zero. <laughs> there you go. Yep. Okay, so this is my math one. So you see that there's two cars, so there's like normally a game, and you take out a car, and you like... Yeah, you can like, let's see if we can find. So this is the workbook, and I normally keep stickers in the page that we're at, and we pop a sticker on them. Here, here, here. 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 Here's a good driving example, yeah. So you drive like on the on the path and you navigate through numbers and yeah. gives you all the instructions and gives you challenges. I said minuses. That's not minuses though. Oh. Minus is this. Oh. What's this? I don't know. Equals. Equals. Yeah. Zero. It shows you this is like, yep, is yep, the yep. answer. That's what Zero that plus, plus zero minuses? No, we just did it. <laughs> I don't know. Equals. Equals. No, no fox. If you have no fox plus no fox, no fingers plus no fingers is how many fingers? Zero. No fingers. Zero. Open your eyes. It's ready? Yeah. <gasps> Whoa. <laughs> no way. What are those baby broccolis? That's what I thought they looked like. So they can look like that. Oh my god, it's gonna grow into that? Yeah. No way. <laughs> really? Yeah. Don't eat those 
Well, it is the mid afternoon and I have been hard at work, but I thought I would just let you know what I'm doing. Um, I'm super last minute editing um, the main core heart of the workshop. I'm so flustered. I have so much to do in the next like week and a half and I've been kind of overwhelmed, but here I'm editing. I have a cup of tea. And um, yeah, if you haven't checked out the Center of Self-Worth workshop, you should check it out. It is available for you to join today and would love for you to be a part of the workshop. Um, you've seen so much behind the scenes and making of the uh, online course and I'm just like really grateful to have the opportunity and community to share this with. Um, and to all of you who have joined for some of the virtual gatherings that I've hosted on Zoom. It's been really nice to meet some of the community face to face. And yeah, I've just been really feeling good vibes with this new direction and mission and purpose for Moonflower Child and would love to be able to share that with you and just invite you to join and participate and be a part of it. Um, I've got some big hopes and dreams for um, some in-person retreats and um, like workshops like this but like in tropical places you know. Um, so if you want to be in the know of all the things happening for Moonflower Child, be sure to sign up for the email list um, and go snag yourself a seat for the um, Center of Self-Worth workshop because future Juby would be incredibly grateful as current Juby sits here and edits and works at my desk and um, just is in a space of believing that it has good purpose for you and can serve you in terms of like learning about essential oils and perfume making and um, how to blend and create your own scent that really represents the essence of you that will just encourage you to have more worth in just yourself. Um, it's been an amazing tool for me to have in my back pocket for my daily self-care practices and I really have been intentionally using scent to uplift and shift my mindset and my mood to just elevate my worth and my purpose. So that's what I'm doing for the rest of today. I think Azalea and Justin went to the Lowe's um, and um, yeah, I'm gonna get to work. Let's do this.
Well, you guys, this is where I leave you. I am going to continue to celebrate the rest of today with my babes. It's my 34th birthday. Can't believe how old I am. I still feel just like the younger me. Like I still just, I feel, I don't even know how to describe it. Getting old is just so weird. Like my body is aging. My mind is more knowledgeable. But in my heart and my soul, I'm still young and who I've always been. So I'm going to go play around with this new lens. I'm so grateful to have received a new lens for my birthday. Best gift ever. Thank you to my dad. Babes has been crushing it down here in the basement. Wow. It looks so good. Oh my gosh. This is amazing. It's so huge. Now you can have a man cave down here. Yeah. If I was like two feet shorter, man. Yeah, just working from that corner and working towards the corner. Cause like all the, most of the poop is in the corners. It's just, there's still a decent amount of trash and. But it's just clean too. Oh yeah. Uh, you've been hoovering for like, I hear you from my studio. <laughs> it's a lot of fucking hoovering. Man. Yeah. Well, it's come a long way. I mean, just the fact that you can get over here, it's like amazing. Yeah. Really like good. Like a month and I'll get through it all, I think. Yeah, and then we can actually like have pictures of it. Well, <laughs> it's just, I mean, it's still creepy, you know, even if it's clean, it's creepy. Still. I know, but it's still, you know, it's like a certain type of crawl space that people prefer to, you know, have over like a on the ground crawl space. Well, yeah, it is a lot better for sure. Babes has been outside all day in this disgusting weather, sanding doors. Flathead. We had a massive pile of doors over here, <clears throat> and he's been slowly trudging through them so that we can hang them back up after we paint them. So it's been quite a project that I was not looking forward to. You're welcome. How many? Uh, how many have you done? Two. Nice. <laughs> Better than none. I should have just sanded this door because I'm not a better shape. Oopsie daisies. Um, all this stuff out front is stuff I need to post on the Facebook marketplace. And then we've got a bunch of things that are just going to go to the junk. Junk pile slash giveaway slash whoever wants it, come get it for free. <laughs> 